Today we're talking about how to use AI for small business. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you've heard of generative AI like ChatGPT and Google's Bard, and by the time we're done today, you're going to understand how to better use it for your business. Is the concept of using AI a little scary for you? I'm gonna tell you what you can avoid so you feel more comfortable. We're going to uncover the types of AI that are available to you and your business, and you're going to leave being able to get started immediately using AI to make better decisions for your business. Hang on, we have some fun stuff in store for you. So let's start off by talking about what AI is not, because I'm sure you're like me, you look on social media, you hear what people are saying in news articles, and it seems like there's some confusion about what AI actually is. So we have to understand that all it is is technology that uses math to recognize patterns. The more information it's fed, the more information it has to work from so it can produce patterns. And right now we're talking a little bit more about generative AI, although all AI does this to some level. And so I've seen people talk about how they ask AI about the future, or what should I do about this? Or if I were to do this, what do you think will happen here? We have to understand that AI is not an oracle. Don't do that. I don't want you bending down and giving praises to AI. That's not going to give you the answers to life. We also have to understand that AI, generative AI like ChatGPT, it's not creative. Again, remember it recognizes patterns. It's trained on a teeny, teeny, teeny portion of the internet, way less than 1%, as well as some open source books in the case of ChatGPT, right? And so it doesn't even have all the information that's on the internet. For that reason, AI, generative AI, is also not always accurate. Do you have a friend that's super smart and maybe they have a lot of great information, but when they don't have that information, they just make up something that sounds good. That's what generative AI does as well. It hallucinates. And so we have to be very careful if we're using it in our businesses to not necessarily trust it just yet to give us verifiable facts. We have to go and verify. There's a case of a lawyer in New York City who was working for someone who was suing the airlines when he turned over paperwork to the court. It was actually inaccurate because it quoted case law and specifically cases that didn't even exist. So if you're going to use generative AI in your business, you have to make sure to double check it so you don't end up with egg on your face. So for the sake of this conversation, let's look at what kind of AI we're talking about. Nine times out of 10, most people right now are talking about generative AI. That's that AI that can create outputs that almost seem human-like. That could be text, that could be voice, that could be video, that can be images. That's what most small businesses are accessing right now. However, AI has been around for quite some time. It has revolutionized the medical industry, specifically with reading charts and more accurately predicting people having things like cancer and other ailments. It's been a huge part of the legal profession in the background, and in some ways it's kind of started already having an impact on the amount of paralegals that are working. And so AI has been all around us in city planning, in different areas of science. But again, for the sake of what we're talking about right now, we're probably mostly focusing on generative AI. So here's the deal. If we're talking about how we can use AI in our businesses, and again, there's many different types, we have to kind of look at why we should even look at using it. In the past, a lot of business leaders would rely on their gut instincts to make decisions. We've all seen this, and, and you know what? Maybe you've done this before. But we're gonna take a pause. I have some more information for you. But while we're pausing for a moment, I would love for you to go into the comments and share, have you ever had a boss that made decisions based on their gut instincts and they were stupid? Have you ever had that experience where someone just kind of goes with the flow on what they think and it just doesn't work out for the organization? Go ahead and just put that in the comments. I'm just curious to know what your experience is with that. So moving onward, one of the reasons we can't rely on gut instincts is because as humans, oftentimes, not only do we have biases, but we don't understand that other humans aren't necessarily logical as well. So we're gonna get out of business cases for just a moment and talk about how AI has impacted the judicial system because it'll give us some ideas on how we can leverage it within our businesses as well. So a study by four major universities, they came into a partnership called Human Decisions and AI Predictions actually found that AI was much more accurate than judges 
in predicting recidivism. In other words, the chances of an offender reoffending in the future. Now you might think to yourself, what's the big deal? Well, it turns out it's pretty significant. They then took their findings and ran them through several models. And you wanna hear what they found? Using that data and using AI versus a judge, they could reduce crime by about 25% without increasing the number of people in prison. It's just a matter of accurate predicting on who would reoffend. Additionally, the jailing rate could go down by about 42% and there would be no increase in crime. This is just as a matter of us using data rather than humans making those gut decisions to make accurate predictions of the future. Imagine what using AI in that way and data could do for your business. So now let's take that AI example I just gave you when it came to predicting recidivism and let's bring that down to our own organizations. So I remember a few years ago, uh, I was shopping at the grocery store and I am a Tropicana orange juice person. Yes, I know there's other brands. I'm not going to say those brands. I'm sure they're all wonderful, but they're just not as good as Tropicana to me. I grew up on it. It's the best orange juice ever, in my opinion. If you disagree, you can put it in the comments, but I'm probably gonna say something a little snippy and silly back. All right, so with that having been said, imagine my surprise when I went into the grocery store and I see my Tropicana box, but instead of being the normal carton that was this beautiful, kind of luxurious looking orange juice, it looked like some type of off-brand orange juice box. It was the strangest thing. It reminded me of, I don't know if you have rainbow brand near you, but any of those off-brand type boxes. Now, the problem is, is that Tropicana charges a premium price for their juice. They're not the cheapest orange juice. And I found myself having the strangest emotion, anger. It wasn't even just irritation. I was like, how dare you have me pay this much for orange juice? And the box looks like this. But you know what I chopped it up to? I chopped it up to me being quirky and maybe I just have strange attachments to certain things. Well, it turns out that Tropicana had to immediately reverse course on that packaging because there was a whole outrage with their consumers. Imagine if they had used AI and collected some data from their already dedicated consumers like myself to avoid that costly packaging mistake. They paid for the branding, they paid for the packaging. I have no doubt that much of it went to waste somewhere, which also had an environmental impact, right? And so again, using AI along with data helps us make smarter decisions that save us money and makes us more efficient. One of the best things about AI is it allows us to streamline some of our work processes. I'll give you a personal example. The other day, my business manager had a conversation with a client. She told the client, I have to record the conversation because I know there's gonna be things that Crystal needs to answer and she's on a plane right now for a speaking event, but we, we wanna make sure we're getting all this information. So my wonderful, wonderful business manager sent over this transcription of the whole conversation. How many of you wanna read a transcription of a 20 minute conversation? So I didn't. I just plugged that conversation in a chat GPT and I asked it to summarize it for me in 20 main points. I was able to read over that in maybe three minutes and get a gist, respond to all the questions that my assistant had and be in the know, streamlining processes. Additionally, not only can it allow you to summarize, but it can also help you create outlines. Let's say that you're trying to figure out how to structure your next meeting. You can actually tell ChatGPT that you need help structuring a meeting. Maybe you give it the role of someone who's an efficiency manager, right? And you tell them kind of the things you need to talk about and you ask it, how can I structure this meeting so that it's the most efficient, effective, and fun for all the people present and have it go for two or three or however many hours. So it can help us streamline processes in that way too. It can help us with data conversions. It can also help us in terms of evaluating our current decisions. You can ask it to use information based on maybe two or three efficiency experts or authors. And if it is familiar with their work, if it has been fed their work through its model, it's going to be able to then reorganize your information based on their own philosophies. And so it's almost like having all these experts with you even though they're not there. But again, only if it's trained on their data and their information. If you're looking for AI tools that can help you in your business, and keep in mind there's literally thousands of them out there, I wanna help you by focusing on some of the ones that you'd likely find the most helpful. So I do have a free gift for you today. You can go right into the description right now, click that link, and then you can download the Future Ready Playbook. It does already contain some of those juicy AI tools that can help you in your business. So. I look forward to seeing you soon. Make sure you download that playbook.